And this is a toy spot on Spectacular Spider-Man Rhino. Um, we have a quick look at the package. Packaging is the same as all the other Spectacular Spider-Man. Same, uh, same card. And Rhino, of course, on the bottom there. Armored villain. We have a look at on the back here. Um, here's the Electro Blast Spider-Man. Probably my favorite Spider-Man of all the figures so far in this wave. There's also the other spectacular Spider-Man, Black Costume Spider-Man. Um, if you watched my review on the other spectacular Spider-Man, uh, Black Costume, I had mentioned he came with another accessory where he had the same mold. Uh, this is the other accessory. It comes with these metallic wings. Uh, there's Electro, Lizard. Uh, there's the other Spider-Man. And this other Spider-Man, I... If I'm not mistaken, is the original mold Spider-Man. It's not this mold, even though the pictures look the same. And then, of course, there's Rhino at the bottom there. Okay, so there's the packaging. What we're going to do is we'll open this guy up, and we'll have a look at the figure. And here's Rhino. Uh, what an, this is probably one of my favorite villains, um, at least in, in the Spider-Man cartoon, the spectacular Spider-Man cartoon. I like what they've done with him. I like what they did with Electro uh, as well. This is probably one of my favorite of the villain's toys. Uh, they've done a great job of capturing what Rhino looks like in the cartoon. Uh, when I bought the packaging, or when I bought the figure, I should say, and I saw him in the package, uh, I was a bit disappointed first when I saw that his head was on a... Like, if you look at his head here... Um, I thought the figure was permanently like that. I thought it was sculpted like that. But at a boy Hasbro, uh, what they've done is this whole neck area can actually come down as well. So this is the more accurate cartoon version of of uh, Rhino, the way he looks in the show. Um, I'm glad that they had it that you could you could bring his head down like that. Um, this guy is is packed full of articulation. He's got articulation in the shoulder what I thought was going to be elbow articulation it looks like he's just got a ball joint that you can rotate the arms same with this arm here um, he has articulation in the waist which is more to the gimmick than anything else um, his legs do rotate as well as he's got articulation in the knees so he does have his fair share of articulation um, the gimmick and I'm thinking this is the gimmick because there's really no instructions to the to how you do it but um, he he shakes now I don't I don't know I I'm think I'm I don't know if I've got this right but it looks like he he can do a ramming thing it might just be that that's just the way like it's loose in this waist area and that that just resembles him ramming. It might be that he has no gimmick whatsoever and he's just got a really gimp waist. But a really nice figure. I'm really happy with him. He's Like I said, he's one of my favorite of the spectacular Spider-Man villains. Um, he's extremely top-heavy though, I will say. Uh, no real... No real negative points I can make about the figure aside from I just wish the waist wasn't as loose as it is. But everything else, I'm really glad Like the head can come down. He's definitely a, a beast of a toy, especially compared to the other, the other scale Spider-Man uh, figures. Um, I'd rate him pretty high. Maybe on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give him a good solid 8 for, uh, for how good the, the toy is. Um, and there you have it. There's a toy spot on Spectacular Spider-Man Rhino. And... Uh, I'll, I'll see you guys later. Bye.